Hi guys, welcome back. Today is uh, Monday morning. I'm still here to work in the ruder of uh, Alos. I will show you what I did yesterday because I'm preparing for laminate the ruder and fading all the ruder. But at the moment I need to fill the gap. I don't want to use too much fading, epoxy fading because crack with the time. So now we will see. When I bought the boat, one of the first concerns was the ruder. When I saw the ruder in the marina, I was quite shocked to see the condition. So I figured out how to repair it. The first things I did on the ruder was to remove all the putty it covered and see if the base was in good health. And above all, it wasn't water soap. And discovered this hole that you can see in the picture. Nothing dangerous, but only it need to be filled with epoxy putty. You will see in the video how oh, I did. You can see I try to reinforce all my ruder. see here they use a lot of this type of putty the same of this one to cover all this part I will use this PVC to cover here and after that I will use less epoxy putty to cover so it's more easy that we stay more than this uh, type of putty that I will absorb water you can see here the green line so now I need to clean all around here and start to cover with epoxy and uh, PVC. For tonight I finished, I already fill up this gap. After that I will use this type of material, the PVC, to fill up this gap. And after that I will fade in with epoxy fair. In this case you can see here, I use the, um, the PVC because so I don't use too much uh, fading, epoxy fading. It's possible to crack. In this way it's very flexible and no water entering. I do here, also here, 
already prepared. After that, I will send a, I will cover with epoxy putty. This is a great idea that uh, save my, my uh, router and you can see it's completely fill up. Tomorrow it will be cured and after that tomorrow we'll send. For tonight is okay, we see you later. If you use the tape, it doesn't stitch on the, on the epoxy. You can see here, this is the PVC. So guys, now I will start to glue in the PVC with this product from Checky Resin, is AT40, it's a fantastic epoxy resin that stitch on the metal in different material. It's great, a very perfect join and perfect gluing on different material. This is great glue! 100 grams is enough for everything.
need to to glue in the PVC just here. After that, I will sand. I will make a flat surface. But at the moment, I need to glue in. The T40 gluing of Czech is a fantastic product. So guys, so guys, here we are. This is the AT40. This type of gluing from Czechy is a fantastic glue. It, it works well with different type of material and it is very, very good epoxy gluing. So I use some um, PVC to fill the gap and avoid to have a too much uh, uh, epoxy putty. So it's more flexible and more strong. And now I wait that will be cured. After that, I will send everything here. I will send everything here. And I start after that to use, uh, to put the new putty all on the router. But at the moment, this is what I did today and just finished now. Mm -hmm. 